Rudy Giuliani says Donald Trump owes him $2 million for the work he did challenging the 2020 presidential election results where Giuliani showed up hammered, drunk, his, his liver oozing vodka and whiskey. He literally showed up drunk because he's an alcoholic. Uh, he showed up ju- uh, drunk before 60 judges and lost each case telling the court, quote, we have lots of theories about voter fraud, just no evidence at this time. When he went before 60 judges in the lead up to January 6, Rudy's no fool. He says one thing in front of a bank of microphones and another thing before a judge. Before every judge, when they ask for evidence of voter fraud, Rudy Giuliani said, quote, we have lots of theories about voter fraud, just no evidence at this time. And then he would waltz out of the courtroom, go before a bank of microphones, and tell a completely different story. Well, he lost 60 cases. It sounds to me like Rudy owes Trump $2 million. I think Rudy's got things mixed up. He, lose 60, he lost 60 cases? And he wants to collect $2 million. In his latest bankruptcy filing, Rudy Giuliani estimates he owes as much as half a billion dollars in civil judgments against him. The half a billion dollars in civil judgments, then there's the legal fees, back alimony, and of course, back taxes. He owes the IRS about $750,000, and he owes New York State $200,000. So he estimates all in, he's in hock to the tune of about half a billion dollars. And he turns 80 later this year. Rudy, just go to prison. Just go to pr- Stop it already. Just stop. Just go die in prison. You're 80. Just go away and die in prison for some just peace and quiet. It can't be any prison can't be any worse than, than what you're going through now. And they're doing wonderful things with toilet wine and toilet whiskey these days at Leavenworth. Just go to prison. Go to prison. Rudy, uh, there he is, was forced to declare bankruptcy late last year after a federal jury ordered him to pay two Georgia election workers $148 million. <laughs> I love it when horrible people just, just continue to spiral down the toilet. Nobody deserves this more than Rudy. Anyway, he was forced to declare bankruptcy late last year after a federal jury ordered him to pay two Georgia election workers $148 million in damages for falsely accusing them of stuffing ballots for Joe Biden. He almost got these two women killed. They, they had to go into hiding. Uh, the, the racially tinged death threats, the FBI had to step in. And when you... Think about uh, what he said on January 6th. Today is trial by combat and go it, you know, egging on the January 6th goons. Uh, if you love this country, you should be enjoying Rudy Giuliani's pain. He deserves, he's a prosecutor. He knows supposedly right from wrong. And he used to be about justice. He deserves to go to prison. He almost ruined this country. He helped uh, make Hunter Biden's life miserable, uh, a a troubled son of of Joe Biden. Uh, Rudy deserves everything that's coming to him. And uh, I welcome his pain. I welcome his emotional pain. Almost, almost Killed our country on January 6th, Rudy Giuliani. Still might, by the way. (laughs) 